Hello everybody, welcome to Nego Terra Odyssey. Today I have a fun read for you and it's going to be about what steps can I take to usher in my success, personal success, love, contentment, um, balance, fortitude, all those things, little steps we can take. And today I thought I would dress up and get on camera. I was taking out some of my spring clothes and I'm like, oh, I love that this jacket like goes just past my knees and in the sun it's very shimmery and it looks really pretty. I love gorgeous and sumptuous clothes, but I am the world's laziest person when it comes to getting dressed sometimes. I'm serious. I love really comfortable track suits, but I'm like, you know, the only time I really dress up is when I come on for camera with you guys or I go out maybe once in a blue moon, but I do I do love fabrics and goodies. So I'm like, hey, I'll get dressed up and talk to everybody today because I miss you and I want to thank you on camera. I feel when a lot of readers come on and you can read the expressions on their face, you know it's real, you really know they feel, I feel really emotional lately, like I feel so much gratitude. I always do your comments right before I go to sleep and right when I wake up and I always tear up because I'm always in such awe of your progress and there's nothing I love more than seeing people reach their potentialities and you guys are doing this, you're just opening that door and this is sort of what's happening right now, the soaring energy of of course I can do this. Um, there's a gazillion people in the world that back chat each other and tell them that's impossible, that's this and that. But those are the people not doing anything or not wanting others to succeed. So only listen to the voices of your cheerleaders and your helpers and um, the gurus and light workers out there that know that, you know, everybody has vast on tap potential. And that's what we're stepping into. But there are certain steps that we can take. And I want to say I'm just doing a two card choice and feel free to watch both of them because they're basically a, a pool of um, just resources to to reach in and get and I feel like these are messages that are really important to hear I have to reread this stuff every day to myself honest to goodness I go on and I listen to the people that I love and respect and I feel like um, I really want to do my best for you guys and I research anything that if I talk about it medically psychologically or whatever I'm gonna know what I'm talking about because I realize this reaches thousands thousands and potentially you know hundreds of thousands of people so there's teenagers there's things so I feel responsible for my words so I'm not just talking to talk I'm always going to do research and find out really um, what's going on like Colette says it's prescriptive not necessarily always predictive there are things that I can definitely see and hear um, but they're result orientated because you're using common sense in your following steps. So let's see what are, are your two choices today. So the first one is Era Cura. It's about blooming. You, you know, I need my glass. I'm like, you know what? These words aren't big enough for me because I can't see shit. You are just getting started. So have patience with yourself in the process and do not give up. So see if this speaks to you. Right now, I feel like so many of you guys are, you're like in the garden. Of, that's why I had these garden gates and I love this background. Um, you guys are stepping into this beautiful blooming garden of um, understanding yourself. Because I do want to say this one thing that's very important now. If you don't define yourself on your own terms right now, this is, I've had to do this over and over, especially in my different careers. And now, you know, when I do um, my courses and stuff, I'm realizing I really need to work with people's individualism because if you don't define yourself right now in your own terms, you're going to be, per, you're going to be fused into other people's perceived realities of you and what you should be doing. And you're actually going to be like a watered down or distilled version of somebody else's idea of you, right? Why not be that technicolor you, who you are unabashedly walk right into it, okay, you guys? And I feel like you're starting to do that. You're stepping right into your power and you're going, you know what? I am me. Take it or leave it. And the cat's going to knock some shit over. So let's get ready for that, huh? No, no, no. Whenever I set up backgrounds and, um, and think she gets like the environment changes so she feels the energy also i'm serious when i start channeling i feel like she feels my mom and she feels everybody else so she just goes batshit crazy i'm putting pop rocks you guys know on instagram i'm gonna be putting pop rocks in her litter box just a few so when she piddles on them she gets a little um rocking sensation and pop rocks going flying out at her i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna film it too because she's deserving of this because that's how i roll with my cats i torture them <laughs> I like to torture my kitties. Okay, and then we have Diana, the high priestess. I really love this energy too. You have divine knowledge that can help others through spiritual teaching. So many of you do. I mean, it's uncanny, the light workers that are just stepping into that. I have a great many people that as soon as I started, I started doing um, teaching courses for it to do what I do and speak on air and feel comfortable and just direct channeling. That's 
I have my best days when I just, whoop, I shut the, the mail faucet off and I'm just like, whatever comes in, I say, because it's, it's undiluted, it's true, it's just a interesting facet of our lives and there's phrases and things I normally don't hear. So those are gonna be your choices. So try that with yourself too, writing helps with that. So here's your two choices. And I'll let you pick and I'm gonna start over here and we're gonna see what messages are and what you can sort of tap into. Yeah, I feel that right now with spring, everybody's like, yeah, it's like starting afresh, starting anew, um, realizing all this on tap potential, all this on tap love. And I feel everything everything just really sort of brewing in this really interesting um, tea kettle, right? And again, we're all, if we're starting to work from hell, that's always my basis. Honesty, authenticity, integrity, and love. Always mean what you say and say, you know, say exactly what you mean. If you say you're going to do something, do your best to do it. Don't use excuses. Um, and that's when authenticity comes in. You wouldn't say you want to do something if you didn't want to do it, right? Like I, do, I give freely of my time and my, um, any of my knowledge when people need it, especially if they're in jeopardy. And I can read when they really do now. I'm getting better at that. First, I was like, I'm going to help everybody. And I was working five in the morning till midnight. And then I'm like, whoa, 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 girl. You look like something, a hot Chinese garbage can. No, 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 no. Yeah, you can exhaust yourself. And any of you light workers or helpful people out there, please remember there is only so much in your reserves and pay attention to it. Oh, I love this. Oh, I knew this kind of stuff was going to come on. Yep. So eight of wands. Nice. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to just hold them up. I like, I like doing stuff in pairs right now. Eight of wands and emperor energy. This is fantastic. I mean, this is about setting forth you you're starting you, you've got your ship navigated it's pointing in the right direction you understand what you want to do and where you go now um i'm something i'm hearing very close that that's going to help you that's going to really help you in this is um expressing your gratitude all the time because when we appreciate what we have um it increases in value right our family when we think about it um they love us back the love that we get us if you have a certain painting or picture and you just love it to death you care for it you make sure um you know it's going to avoid spots where people are going to spill or damage it things like that another thing that you're going to do with the emperor and en energy it's great you're going to avoid overthinking and comparisons the emperor doesn't have to compare himself to anybody he's solid he knows where he's coming from he's in charge of his own destiny because he'll listen to other people for sure but he's going to listen to his true voice and that's what you're going to start to do and because of that it's like people are going to stand up and take notice and they're going to respect that strength in you saying listen i know what i'm about i know who i am i don't lie cheat or steal uh, I'm a true north. I'm always going to tell it like it is. I'm going to use sound reasoning. I'm not going to come from an inflated sense of self or ego or emotion, right? I'm going to go logic. I'm going to have a lovely blend of kindness and compassion as well. Emperor and Empress has that gorgeous energy of, you know, lush, richness, abundance of um, just giving because they know there's plenty for all. They know there's abundance. Let me see. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of surreal new relationships where you're like, I dreamed about having these conversations with people, these rich, deep, touching, emotional conversations. And these people are going to help you to commit to your goals. These are the people that are battery packs to you. You're moving away from, from people, places, and things that were drawing on your energy and not helping you. And now you're only going to have things in your field of vision that you know are going to encompass your goal. You're really digging deep. Um, you realize that if you can be as idealistic as you want. You're going to have um, your your eagerness to lend people a helping hand is going to come from a true heart, but you're going to be able to navigate who's really in need and who authentically um, is going to benefit from this too. Like when you go in and help, some people just say, pay attention to me, pay attention to me. And they're waving their flags in the air because they want attention. However, are they going to take in your hard earned time and knowledge and expertise that you're giving to them? Or do they just want attention continually? You're going to be able to navigate those waters really, really good. Again, yeah, because uh, all these people are, 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 are going to flourish around you with your help. And you're going to realize, wow, you know, you definitely had that, that emperor energy. You're just stepping into it. You're like, listen, I don't care what other people think of my concepts. I know what I know and I'm going to put it out there. You can either use it or not. It's as simple as that. You know what I mean? And you're going to you're going to start to set things in motion that you didn't know were possible. You're all, you're changing other people's lives right now and you know, I'm really proud of people that step into that kind of power and they acknowledge, you know, you know, we're meant to help one another. We're ha we're meant to lift one another. We're meant to tell other people, you know, you're beautiful. You 
you're a thing of magic and energy and we were all placed here to be these vibrant beautiful happy shiny people and it's so easy to do you just decide to do it i'm serious i woke up looking like a mud puddle and my hair was crazy and everything was everywhere and there was of course because i have teenagers the house was like just like somebody just took it and shook it like like odin woke up and shook the hell out of the house and everything was a mess but i was like you know what everything's temporary. I can clean this. I can feed the animals. I can get it together. I can take a shower. I can I smack on some makeup. I had so much fun putting on makeup this morning. I'm going to do a makeup tutorial because I found these palettes and I love them. And that'll be fun for us. So that's you guys. That's beautiful, beautiful energy. Yeah. You're, and you're blossoming. You are stepping into this beauty and this magic that you're realizing is your life. Really noticing what's around you because that's going to be super helpful. You know what I mean? You don't want some decoy life. No, 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 no. So now we're on to Diana. Okay, you guys, I love this because, yeah really really amazing you know you do have d divine knowledge and you do have you picked up a thing or two going down your road and it's helped you and now you've devised a way to communicate that to others in a very simplified way too now this is one of the reasons where people like think i have so many doctorates and certified in everything this and that as as i've been studying as i was going through subjects i wanted to know what i did ever since i was a little kid and this is why i was able to get like phenomenal grades at some point Every single thing I learned, I told myself, learn it like you're going to turn around and teach it to a classroom two minutes later. So what you'll do is you will get the things you really need to define. You will simplify. You'll put it in layman's terms. If it's really um, um, technical medical stuff or psychology terms that, that get to out there, you simplify it in words that they can grasp. And also, just... Um, simplify the hell out of stuff that's all it is it's very easy like just say um people that are dealing with narcissists and there's so many words of the flourish that are varied that could just bury what the meaning is but you can just say simply a narcissist is somebody that's so self-involved they're unavailable emotionally or otherwise to anybody else everything has to revolve around them and if it doesn't they are a destructive force in your life it's as simple as that so you can any of those things and a lot of times doctors or when you're getting your doctorates or when you're getting your PhDs the text gets so so superficial with words and they'll use 15 phrases where they can use one dilute it simplify it and then you can deliver it and that's part of what you're doing right now because spirituality can be as technical right when we're talking about Palladians fifth dimension stuff like that it can get supernova crazy so we have to simplify for each other okay this new group and I feel like this is something know your content um, you guys are really gonna know what you're talking about you're gonna start researching um, I feel like you want to go to those fun things like I know Colette and all those guys they do great big things in conference rooms and everybody gets to like read Oracle cards together and you expand your horizons I feel like you're gonna be joining really cool social groups that are into these great esoteric learnings and you're gonna expand your social gatherings with that too and a few of you are gonna meet your divine other one through these through either some church groups through spirituality groups through I feel like some of you really you like to do things in the spring together you like to bike in groups you like to hike in groups and there'll be something along those lines where you're gonna meet some significant others again right now with spring coming in we're not gonna avoid or compare ourselves to others no way we're us 40 50 year old some things we're not like oh look at that 20 year old she looks she looks great I should look like that we're not being ridiculous we're we're working within our parameters of what we have and um and we're lifting each other any girlfriend anybody you go out with you see them on the beach you go bathing suit shopping with them whatever you're doing it's like man i'm gonna help you i this is where i want this was going to be my first choice i wanted to be um like a wardrobe consultant because i'll tell you what i know what looks good on who and why and why things should be fitted and where they should be fitted to accentuate all those things but it's like people have the craziest dysmorphia about their own bodies i mean they can have the most fantastic body and they think they're huge or too small or bony nobody is ever satisfied i'll tell you that you'll get a victoria's secret model she'll she'll find a flaw so it's ridiculous so you know let's not be idealistic let's just say hey what does this body provide for me it provides me with a heart and a mind and it's good we can fix up these other little saggy baggy wrinkly dinkly things who cares i'm really lucky for my age like i'm not wrinkle prone but one day it's just gonna fall on my face and i'm gonna be like holy crap get some stuff help you know what i mean but i'm lucky my genealogy that i'm not hot mess right now but um i've got you once you reach that age where it starts to change you don't care anymore you really don't i mean and when you start putting weird stuff in there you've seen it in hollywood it's too much it's like let, let's 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 
focus on what we should focus, what we're giving the world, who, the type of person we are, and how we can really help people. Like I'm the surprise queen. I like to bring home fancy foods and little treats for my family and, and do little things. And I know what my family likes, like crystals. I'll lay stuff out. Create a beautiful surprise for someone today. You know what I mean? Just gift somebody with something. Isn't that nice? And listen, I'm doing a contest too. If you guys remember this, if you see my subscribership hit two. 22,222 comment on it. The first one that comments on that is going to win two surprises and they're going to be pretty good. They're going to be involving my decks and some other things. So if you can do that, it might have already, I, I don't think it already passed. I've been busy today, but if it does that, let me know. I'm doing it on Instagram. Come to me on Instagram too. Um, uh, Sparkquest11 because it's going to be fun. We're going to be running contests. So listen, I'm, I'm also hearing don't languish in what is shoulda, coulda right now. Okay. I feel like um, you think, well, I have to fix this in order to move on to that. You don't right now. You've already stepped into this power. So release the past completely. You don't need it. Just have a clean departure from it because you're, you're stepping into this really nice thing. Um, I took a note on something because I really wanted this message to come through. Yeah, don't don't deplete your resources. Sometimes when we come from a place of giving and trying to really help somebody, we can start to deplete ourselves physically. Like I'm terrible about remembering to eat. I, I don't know what time it is, but I, don't, I haven't eaten yet and it's like close to two or three. I always do that because I get so excited and I start researching. I'm dealing with clients all day and then I'm like, I wait till I feel off or out of whack. Don't deplete your resources internally, externally, any of that. Don't give away because we can't give from an empty cup, right? Right. So yes, don't overwork or overmanage yourself. Let yourself have a lot of free time. It's starting, the weather is starting to change and become beautiful. Allow yourself to be able to go out in that. Okay. Yeah. And a good leader, because that's some of the positions you guys are going to get in. A good leader doesn't feel like they always have to act. They just listen. Sometimes my family goes in upwards being teenagers. They want to do everything. Uh, they want to be everywhere. They want my attention. But guess what? I just sit back and I listen. And sometimes when we sit back and listen, we're able to absorb this, um, all this eager energy and then let it settle and then we get the true intuitive answer. So yeah, listen to your intuition. Plenty of time for meditation for you guys because you're, you're going to make these love connections through these new spiritual journeys that you're going on. You're going on retreats. You're going to be um, taking some summer courses, vacations. Forget about what's coming like in April for you people going to the south. You're going to have some sizzling love affairs. You people going on cruises, going to the beach and going to those things. It's, you're going to have so much passion. It's because it's like you have this newfound information that guess what life is not as long as we think it is so we need to grab that energy love abundance whenever we can and express gratitude for it continually again whatever we appreciate grows in value it really really does so value those people that you love around you show you love them do little treats say nice things spend that time with them uh, yeah, it's going to, it's, it's this evolution. You're, this group is going through an evolution of, um, love, education, um, higher standards for everything, how, um, you approach others. Everything's calmer. I feel like a lot of you guys are road ragers. I don't know. I keep hearing that road ragers. You get very upset in your car, how people, if they beep at you, if they cut you off. Now you're just going to allow, you're going to go, you know what? That guy's another tool. That woman is a maniac. Who cares? They could be coming from chemotherapy. That's usually what I do. Everybody's coming from chemotherapy in my book. That's how I settle my tea kettle. Somebody acts like a total fool on the road. I used to swear and get crazy with, even with the kids in the car and then uh, they'd start laughing and they're like, you're not even like yourself when you're in a car. So I realized, okay, now everybody has to come from chemo so I can be a nice person. You know what I mean? I do. I give it the worst case scenario. So empathy and love and compassion comes out because I've been in that where I've just been like, ah, I got to get in this lane. Okay. So you're going to be accepting and allowing it. It's going to give you such peace of mind, such peace of mind. Honest to goodness, you're going to feel um, just you're going to start to feel really well, really content, really balanced, really good. Again, we need the echo of kindness all the time. I always say that to myself, feel the echo of kindness, be the echo of kindness. When you leave a room, have people feel like, ah, that was nice. That was a nice thing to hear. That was a nice thing to see, right? Leave that residue of peace and harmony behind you. And that is going to be what you're stepping into. So it's going to be really miraculous. So I'm very excited for all you guys. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe and the notification bell lets you know when all the new videos come up. And also if you hit the little gray arrow at the bottom, that'll bring you down to all, all my um, links to private reads. I get to those within um, 
24, 48 hours. I mean, I've been able to just always do that because they take precedence. I'm on Instago, which is fantastic. I love that service. You guys, you're going on a date, you have a job interview, you have something urgent that's pressing. I can help you get in a calm, calm um, frame of mind for that and help provide you with answers. And a lot of times it's advice too, you know, because I've I've seen a lot, done a lot, and I've lived all over the world. And um, just through observing, I realize what works. So, so I love having that that service too for you guys. My Etsy store for all my jewelry. I don't know if I have the gold stuff in there. I love gold and silver pieces in the spring too. Turquoise. I'm adding a bunch of stuff. So go check out my Etsy shop and also the Goddess Provisions box is down below. That is great. That is the Sacred Geometry box. Fantastic. Go check it out. There's some really cool stuff in there. Again, just thank you for everything, my patrons. You guys are the absolute best. This weekend, I'm going to surprise power load you with stuff, and we're going to get back to our little chat stuff too. But um, I have had some crisis situations with some clients, and that took some doing. So um, now I'm, I'm situated, and um, I've got time to focus on you guys because I, you patrons are amazing. You help support the channel. A lot of you have been there from the very beginning. Your comments, your growth, your life, everything about you guys, you are just the absolute best. So, And also, hi, Hops. You looked so good in your joy. You guys, go see Hops Tarot in the the last the last um uh zodiac reads he did he was wearing the pieces i made him i was so happy i almost started crying i was like oh my gosh because i remember when i had the horse amulet carved in onyx i was like hops would look rocking in this and and he, i could tell he was a lapis lazuli fellow too so i made him some pieces and that and you look so good and thank you for wearing them you are too cool there's so many cool people out there i can't even deal but love and light to all of you guys i'm going to upload this so you can get your messages